to so many people for giving their lives to me. That's why you are here, because of what you did. And the Lord God has gone on your knees, and he actually put the crown on my head. And he said, go back, because it's now your time. But tell my people I am coming soon. Tell my people to prepare because my coming is soon. And as soon as I return to my flesh, I woke up the next day a changed person. I was so scared because I was close to hell. I was close to hell. And hell is not a place that we can joke. Jesus Christ didn't die so we can make it to hell. He died so you and I can make it to heaven. And more people go to hell because they reject Jesus. The man who gave it all so we can make it. And that Jesus is the Jesus that we are talking about today. It's not a Jesus who died, but it's a Jesus who lives in us. We are the products of the cross. We are the result of the love of God. We are the result of the love of Jesus Christ. A man who loves us more than anything. A man who can do everything just so that we can live. And we are here standing. We are young just as you are. We are all just as we are, but we have accepted to accept the cross because that's the only way leading us to the, to, to the Father. That's the only way leading us to a good life. That's the only way. The life does not, your life doesn't end when you die, but your life starts when you die. Because after life is real, eternal life is here. But the place that you decide to go depends on how you live your life. If you accept Jesus Christ today, your next life will be a good life. Most of the time when people die, we say rest in peace. But I want to tell you today, not every soul rest in peace. Not every soul rest in peace. Only those who die in Jesus Christ rest in peace. Only those who die in Christ are the ones who live after this life. There are so many people in the torment place right now. They are praying. Asking God for repentance, but the door of repentance is closed, it's locked for them. It's given to you and I. Repentance is still here as we are living. Repentance is still here. We have the grace to meet, to, 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 to put our life together. We have the grace to repent. We have the grace to go back to Jesus. Because where there's life, there's grace, there's mercy, and there's the love of God. And this God is calling you today, this God is calling you today to come to Him. The Bible says Jesus Christ is the Lamb and He is the King. As we are standing today, Jesus Christ is operating as the Lamb. But tomorrow He may be your King. Because when you stand for you before Him on the judgment day, you won't stand before the Lamb. But you stand before the Judge, who is the King. And He is calling you now when He is still operating as the Lamb. Only if you can accept the Lamb who gave his life, because tomorrow is maybe too late. So many people are regretting right now, we don't know where they go when they die. They are regretting, they are wishing even one second to put their life together. But God has decided to let you and I to see another day. Not just to live for us, not just to live for pleasure, but to live for him. But to live a life for him. Only if I gave my life to Christ earlier. I'm still young, but sometimes I regret there are things that I did in my past. If I met God earlier, I wouldn't be. That's to show you how amazing serving God is. It is a blessing to be part of God's plan at this age. It is a blessing to serve God at this age. And it is a blessing to be part of the people that God is amazing for the last days. We are living in the last days. We are living in the last days. Everything is changing. Everything is changing. Everything the Bible says is coming to pass. Hallelujah. The Bible says it's coming to pass. Thank you, Jesus. And the Lord is giving us day every day so we can prepare for Him. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is coming. Amen. Would you come as your king or would you come as your judge? Would you come as your savior or would you come as your judge? And the decision is for you to take right now. The decision yeah. is for you to take right now. Hallelujah. The decision, I'm repeating, is for you. And that day when you stand before God, all oh, your life will come. And even this day will come. Even this day will show because the Lord sent so many people as we are to preach to you. And you can't stand before Jesus. And you say, I never knew you. That's not an excuse. Because as you are passing here, you're listening to this gospel. You're listening to this gospel. And it's not us. 
Jesus Christ is the one talking to you. We are just the temple he's using so he can speak to you. The Bible says we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the one ministering into us. Because he wants you to be of yourself. He wants you to prepare yourself. He didn't just die for us here. But he died for all of us. He died for all of us. And if all of us can come back to him, heaven will be full of souls. And that's the purpose of the cross. The purpose of the cross is so no one can perish, but everyone can have life. No one can go to hell, but everyone can see the Lord Jesus Christ. It is a blessing to be here today. And I pray that you understand this blessing as much as we do. I pray that you understand this blessing as much as you, we do. You may say Jesus Christ died. Jesus Christ is a pastor. But I'm here to tell you he's not a pastor. The Bible says that Jesus Christ was going. He said, it's good to, for me to go so I can send you my spirit. Why did he do? He has to do that. Because Jesus Christ knows the nature of God is that everybody will die. Every flesh will die. And Jesus Christ knew there would be a time that he may expire because he was the flesh. That's why he had to leave the Holy Spirit. The Spirit doesn't die. The Spirit doesn't expire. And that Spirit is in us. It's the power that we live. Jesus Christ lives in us. Jesus Christ lives in us. Jesus Christ lives in us. Christ lives in us. Hallelujah. He's the only one in the Bible who didn't die. Come on He's now. the only one in the Bible who lives. He's alive. And he doesn't make those who died fake. But that's just to tell us that he is the one who sent them and he is the one who is with us. I thank God for this life that he has given to us. I thank God for the love he keeps showing to us even when we reject him, even when we fail, even when we are in sin, he still accepts us as his children. That's the God we serve, a God who doesn't condemn us, a God who doesn't reject us, but a God who accepts us. But that happens only when we still have life. The grace is open. Salvation is still open. The door of salvation is open. And God is just waiting for you. Just like the father was waiting for the prodigal son. The Bible says as the, the son was coming, the father has to leave the house so he will go and hold the child. That's, that's the love of the God. That's the love of the God. And today we are not in the building. Today we are coming out. The Lord has taught us to come out so he can welcome you as you're coming. And Amen. only if you can acknowledge that love, your life will change. Amen. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Halleluj